your little mouth hole, car. What's up, you guys? Oh, God. No, oh, no. Can you see me? I can't see anything. It's so bright out right now. Okay, well, if you can hear me, hello. Today, I am running some errands, and my first stop is Walmart. I really want to go to the thrift store. You guys, I know it's like not even, summer's not even over yet, but I am just so excited for DIYs for fall and Halloween, because you guys know me. I'm like obsessed with Halloween. Uh, so yeah, I am on my way to go run those errands and y'all are going to come with me. Woo! Let's do this party, people! I'm so excited to do this DIY. You guys have no idea. So I came up with this and as always, like, I, I always search in, like, the search bar to see if anyone else has come up with the idea and I haven't seen anyone do this yet, so I'm like, oh my god, I gotta hurry up and do it before someone else comes up with the idea. I feel like that's how all YouTubers are when they come up with, like, fuck, dude, this original idea. Um, I'm in the new car right now, so I'm trying to figure out how to work with this camera in the new car. I really hope this is recording. Um, but yeah, I, I should try to grab my mount onto my other car and put it in this one because I feel like this is just not doing a very good job. But I turned the air off. I'm fucking sweating balls. I'm getting really hot, so I'm going to turn it back on because when I put it on and the camera's on, it, uh, makes like a real, you can't hear me basically because, uh, I'll have to show you. I don't know if this affects the sound in this car or not, but it always did in the other car. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going to Walmart, the thrift store. I might go into Target, Michaels, who knows? I might even go into Ross. I have a burst of fucking energy and I got to use it because majority of the time, you know, I am like, have no energy and it's really hard for me to like, just get out of my house. So when I have the energy to like get dressed, a little bit of makeup on and get out of the house and go and do it. So we're doing it. Let's do it. You guys, Travis is going to kill me because I'm buying more. Oh, sorry. I'm buying more <laughs> it's like decor pillows because I don't like the ones I have now. The difference between Travis grocery shopping and me grocery shopping is I get a bunch of junk food and he buys all healthy foods. <laughs> He's going to look at me and roll his eyes when he gets home. But I was looking in, like, the kids' section, so I was going to try to find, like, the... You know how everyone's doing those, like, full face makeup with, like, kids' products? I was going to try to find that when I went by the kids' section. But I don't see any, so I'm going to keep looking. This bitch next to me almost just hit my fucking car. And it's my new car, and I would have been real pissed. I don't... I think she's in a BMW SUV. Bitch watch yourself <laughs> um i love how like when hold on let me put this down i love how when someone's driving and then they realize like someone's in their car and they almost hit it or like they almost open the door up on it you know like when people do that and then they realize someone's in the car they're a lot more careful she's fucking mad dogged me She's like an older lady, how funny. Okay, anyways, Walmart trip is done. I spent way more money than I was like planning to. Uh, I don't know what it is. I go in there for like, you know, two things and then I come out with like 15. And of course, all junk food and like decor pillows. Travis gonna die when I get home with all this shit. He's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Okay, I'm trying to think of, oh, let's go to the thrift store, let's do that. So there wasn't really anything good in the thrift store, so I just went to my P.O. box, picked up some packages and mail, and I realized that I forgot two things at Walmart. Uh, they're not the two original things I went in for, but I realized that I am out of them at home, which is just bread and like these vegan chicken nuggets that I like, and I really want them because I'm like craving a sandwich right now, and I really like that bread, so I'm on my way back to Walmart now. Do you guys ever go to the store and you do your shopping and then you leave and you're like halfway home and then you realize you forgot like really important things and you have to go back? Yup, me. Looks like this chick got stuck in the intersection. <laughs> that sucks, dude. I wonder if I should pull over and help her, but I don't know anything about cars. I helped a poor little old lady. Oh, it 
was so sad. I don't know if she had like dementia or what, but I got her out of the, like, I got her to safety. <laughs> Poor thing. If I lived in LA, I would probably never stop to like help someone because I just don't trust people there, but I'm in wholesome, wholesome, so it's okay, guys. <laughs> We're good. <sighs> you guys, I just had to like run up the stairs a bunch of shit. I was such a hot mess, like dropping things down the stairs. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Anyways, I'm going to show you what I got at Walmart because it's very different from when Trav shops at the Walmart. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so you guys kind of already saw what was in my cart, but I got some gray pillows because I'm a grown-ass bitch now and I don't know, I feel like there's like, what is it called? More sophisticated and, you know, whatever. All that stuff. Okay, so I got these. I don't know if you guys have ever tried these before. I've never tried them, so we're gonna try them out. Thought it'd be really good to like heat them up and then put like that vegan white chow cheese on top of it, but maybe like on a piece of bread. Yum, sounds so good. Now these, I have tried. These are actually really good and they have um, pretty good amount of protein in them, so I would definitely recommend them. I got them at Walmart. So let's see what else in this bag. Ooh. Tabasco sauce because this bitch loves some Tabasco sauce. I put the shit on everything. Then, oh my gosh, yes. We got some fudge brownie Ben and Jerry's. We got some chunky monkey Ben and Jerry's. We got some baby carrots because I love dipping these in hummus as like a snack. They're so yummy and refreshing. Then I got some lightly salted Lay's because I really like chips and I've been craving them lately. I also got some Oreo Thins because these are amazing. I really like them better than the regular Oreos. I got some clear hair ties because the ones I'm actually wearing in my hair right now, the ones in my hair right now are black and because I'm going lighter, I got some clear ones. What else is in here? Oh, so I wear men's deodorant. I don't know if you guys know that or not about me. But this is my favorite men's deodorant. It's really like the only one that works. I sweat a lot. You guys know I had that mirror dry procedure done. Well, I only had one treatment. And sometimes you need up to two to three. So I definitely need more. But I'm like scared to go back and get it because it's the original part is painful. But so yeah, I got some more deodorant. What else? Oh, you guys, I love this bread. Can I get it out? I got this bread, it's really good. Um, I like making my sandwiches on it. And then I got some other stuff in here, but that's for a DIY. And I don't wanna show you guys the rest of the DIY stuff because I might put this up before I put the DIY up. So you'll have to check out my main channel. It's gonna be really cool. I'm actually really excited to do it. I'm scared, I'm a little scared, but I'm really excited because I think it'll be fun. So yeah, that's what I got at Walmart. I didn't end up getting anything at their thrift store. I think I told you guys that there was really good in there I'm starting to get anxiety in there too I don't know why but um oh and this little old lady that I helped that was stuck in the middle of the street poor thing I don't know what was wrong with her but I think she's okay now and you guys I have this whole box is full of um packages and mail from the PO box I need to go through so yeah that should be a whole video on its own and then I still have these letters you guys I opened these when my mom was here and now there's just more are piling up. So I've read all of them, but I haven't had a chance to like to respond to you guys. So I'm really sorry. I will soon, I promise. It just gets really busy here. And it, that video is gonna take so long. It's literally probably gonna take all day for me to go through all that. So I don't know how to do it. If you guys have any suggestions on how to be able to respond to everybody that's written to me in a video, let me know without it being like way too long because I feel like it would be like two hours or if I edited it 40 minutes, but that, I don't know if that's gonna be like, be able to get everything. Ooh, cleavage, hey, hey. This is my Wild Fox shirt that I got on Poshmark. Um, if you guys, I have a Poshmark and I sell stuff like from my closet for like really cheap. So if you guys wanna check out my closet, I think it's just Shannon16. But uh, yeah, you should check it out. Uh, all right, I'm gonna put all this shit away. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, I'm home. I have a clothes on, I just took my shirt off cause it was like hot in here. Um, speaking of like boobs, you guys, I don't know if you get, let me zoom this in because I know you guys don't want to look at my cleavage. My boobs. You guys, I really want to get my boobs taken out. 
I talked about this like a while ago because of my back issues. I just don't think it's good for them. I don't think it's helping my back pain basically. So I want to just completely take the implant out and because um, I've had an implant and I'm going to have to like get a lift and like all this stuff. So it's like a process. But then I was on Instagram and I saw that Crystal Hefner, um, Hugh Hefner's wife, had gotten her implants removed because she said that they were making her sick and then she was like, all implants will make you sick, like you need to get them out, you need to get the capsule surrounding them out, like of the tissue in your boob, like all this stuff. And I started like freaking out and I'm like, oh my God, am I getting sick from my implants? And then I thought like when I have kids, like I don't want my kids to be like exposed to anything when I'm feeding them, like breast milk. So I'm like in a bind because I have four months to get pregnant on my own, but I also want to get these boobs removed before I get pregnant. <sighs> It's annoying but the other thing was like the other thing before I got pregnant was I really wanted to remove the tattoos on my stomach completely before I got pregnant because I thought when I'm pregnant it's gonna look so ugly and like gross but that's like the least of my concerns now that I'm like worried I'm more worried basically for my child <laughs> and care less about me but like for my child and like breast milk and stuff if you guys know anything about that let me know supposedly there's a whole Facebook group um, that says that their implants are making them sick because it's like a foreign substance in your body you're not supposed to have it in there so i need to get my boobies out I'm gonna rip my boobs off you guys i'm like freaking scared <laughs> all right um travis is editing my scary story time and he spent like three days editing this video and i'm like dying to watch it and i put up a poll on twitter saying like would you guys want to see my story time just the story time no sound effects no like not very many like edits or jump scares or anything like we've done in the past and a lot of you like 50 percent of you guys were like no jump scares the other 50 percent were like yeah like add fun stuff it makes it fun so travis like went all out on this video and it's gonna be pretty crazy so i hope people don't piss people off hey babe maybe we should put a disclaimer at the beginning that it might be like really scary because remember people got really pissed off like last time we're like you should put a disclaimer if you're gonna scare us like I mean it is a scary story time but you know okay. how people get they'll say they'll say heads up you little pussies no you can't say that don't call them that that's oh. mean okay <laughs> I don't know anyways all right I'm gonna end this vlog you guys I'm hot <laughs> I'm really hot and I need to rip my boobs off. I need to, can you guys please let me know in the comments? I, sh I should have put this at the beginning of the video because not everybody watches till the end. So my true fan band members out there, I know when I see comments that you guys watch this to the end to let me know about the implant thing and if I should get them removed like ASAP or if you think I should wait till after I'm pregnant, let me know. Cause my mom's like, you should just wait till after you're pregnant because your boobs are gonna get bigger and they're and you're gonna have to get them redone anyways and all this stuff. So. Let me know your thoughts and what you guys think is good advice. I truly take you guys' comments like to heart. Like I, you guys are like my, fa my second family. So I really wanna know what you guys have to say. All right, that's it, I love you guys. Oh, sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.